People in their 60s are giving up their day jobs for hobby work such as gardening, crafting or becoming a barista. Research has found Prudential discovered that a fifth of people who are working past the state pension age are hoping to start a new business from a hobby, while 9% would think about continuing full-time in their existing jobs and said their reason for retiring later was because they couldn't afford to retire at 65, while others said they didn't want to as they enjoy the challenges that come with their careers. Prudential has found some people are delaying their retirement because they either don't want to retire early or can't afford it. The insurance company found people are now enjoying a phase of pre-retirement i.e. earning money from their hobbies before retiring officially while earning money later on in life may seem like a daunting prospect, but due to the variety of careers that are available nowadays, older people are finding it easier to get work. Here are some examples of hobby work that you can earn from. By delaying their retirement, people are also able to add to their pension to ensure a more comfortable life when they eventually stop earning money the insurance company found 51% of people surveyed are working past their state pension age or would consider doing so, while a further 28% would consider working fewer hours with their existing employer and 29% would look for a new employer John Field, 66, gave up his career as a solicitor three years ago to become a magician a hobby which he now earns money from by entertaining people on cruises or teaching classes Mr. Field from Ostend, Surrey, told the Times, I have traveled all over the world on cruise ships. Having been booked to do magic shows for passengers I have also set up close-up magic for grandparents classes through U3A, and toured the south of the UK giving talks on Houdini and demonstrating tricks. Eddie Deutsche, 73, from Oxford, has been a personal trainer for eight years and is still teaching for 51 hours a week at DW Fitness in Milton Keynes. His wife, Jill, 72, is an opera singer. Some people take part-time jobs in cafes, while others become personal trainers or exercise instructors. He previously told the Mail, On Sunday, will I ever retire? Only when I need a guide dog, a white stick and a simmer frame to get into the gym. I'd say 70% of my clients are over 60 which is proof it's the new middle age. I do think being an older personal trainer makes me more approachable. I go up and talk to people, try and make them feel at ease and suggest where they can improve their workout without being patronizing. One of my clients complains he is shirts older than most personal trainers in the gym. Stan Russell, the retirement income expert at Prudential, said, Our research has shown that a period of pre-retirement, where people choose to delay their retirement plans, change jobs, earn a living from a hobby, or go part-time, instead of giving up work altogether, has become the new norm for retirees in recent times. Some 1,000 people planning to retire in 2017 took part in the survey.